Hi, YouTube fans. Ladia and Sylvia's here again, sitting here, thinking about making my uh, ladybugs. But I'm trying to focus on staying positive tonight and um, recovering from my hysterectomy. There's times that I don't feel well. Then there's times I need the rest and uh, tonight I'm feeling, well, it's really early in the morning and I'm kind of feeling not so great. And a um, uh, little bit impatient. But, you know, I'm going to turn it around and say I am patient. And I am okay uh, through the process of recovering after a hysterectomy. And also having a um, prolapse repair. So, um, so there's times that I don't feel my best and I, I can't sleep. Um, but I'm going to make myself sleep. But I want to make a few of these cute little ladybugs. Okay. This kind of keeps me positive and cheerful. And I, I think they're so cute. And they're, they're not very... Um, um, it doesn't take a very, very long time for me to make one of these. I would say probably probably like five minutes. But I got my basket here. My white yarn, my red yarn, and my black. And actually, these are the colors that I need. And I was kind of cold, so I put a robe on too. Um, I put my hair down because... I don't know, I just feel cold tonight. And I took my meds, but I didn't take any pain pill. I'm, I'm not experiencing a lot of pain, but I do have pain on my right shoulder because uh, it's still not well. And I'm just trusting God that he's going to heal that arm because it's been like that since April. So it's April, May, June, July. And this is August the 2nd now. So, I'm just sitting here thinking of what to make. Um, I'm probably going to go back to sleep and rest. And I'm also tired of watching TV. So, this is a very quiet night for me. And, uh... uh I've been on... My computer uploaded some videos, which is good, on YouTube. And I'm probably going to upload this one, too. <laughs> so, just sharing you my journey. Uh, and again, I did have a Da Vinci robotic hysterectomy. Less pain. Um, and uh, my bleeding is is not heavy uh less bleeding um actually it's kind of like pain free so uh just a little bit an ouchie i would say but that goes with the stitching and the healing to have to take place so that's actually what's probably just irritating me and then sometimes i get a little moody with myself impatient with myself so when i do get impatient i just crochet um and so i'm gonna keep my mind and focus on my therapy right now and just uh make some of these cute little ladybug keychains all right so everyone i will see you in the next video and in the next clip bye for now Hi everybody, I'm back again and uh, I'm going to get started with making my ladybug here. Alright, they were so cute and keeping me positive through this recovery time from the surgery. And it's only been, I think this is like 12 days, it's like almost two days, I mean two weeks, not two days. Uh, two weeks from my surgery and 
I just have to be patient through the healing process. So you can watch me make this ladybug. It doesn't take me very long. As long as I have my scissors, my hook, and I do need a darning needle. I think I have it in this basket here, but I have to um, find it. There it is. I need one of these. All right. And all I had to do is read the pattern a few times. And I've already got it memorized in my mind how to make these. So we start with the red. And we're going to start with the red. But um, I know I haven't been posting because of my surgery. And a lot of you all don't know what happened to me. So I did have a stage one intranatrium cancer. Caught it in time, had my surgery right away. Um, and I had the robotic hysterectomy. The Da Vinci um, is a new technology of how to do hysterectomy. And I had it at the City of Hope in Duarte, um, California. And that was like, 12 days ago so I am still being patient through my recovery time haven't really been working my regular job but I am a craft vendor and um, while I'm recovering I'm going to um, get ready for Christmas time so people can have uh, Christmas gifts for their loved ones so um, I'm going to make a few more of these and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get more sleep. But um, uh, what did he do um, with my, with my um, hysterectomy? Well, they did remove everything. They removed my uterus, my fallopian tubes, and my ovaries. And I am 60 years old. I'm going to be 61 at the end of this year in November. I have six grown children, four grandchildren, um, and I'm truly blessed with my three sons and my three daughters. And if you want to learn more about my children, I have a playlist about them, and you can watch them. Uh, but I am a grandma, and I'm not getting any old younger. I'm getting older, so uh, I'm doing okay. And it really helps when I focus on... Um, doing what I enjoy because it, it just takes away my anxiety. So we eat and and as you watch me, I'm making the red shell of the um. Of the ladybug, won't you? So, and I'm counting at the same time as I'm talking to you all. Oh, so eight. And, and I'm making this really fast, so you can check it out. I will be done in a few minutes.
So, um, and let's continue. Five. And this really helps me with my with my recovery time because it keeps me busy and I just have the passion to crochet. This is number six. And I'm counting at the same time, so it's hard to talk at the same time. Alright, so you can see it's starting to curve. see how it's forming and one more row then I'm gonna switch it to black Okay, so this is the top of the ladybug, and then we're going to switch now to the black, it's the bottom of the ladybug. So, and we're going to do a back loop. One, okay, so I'm going to cut the red. I don't need the red anymore. Four, two, four, five, six, seven, two, two. Fifteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So, as you can see, the bottom is forming. Six, 
So, as you can see, it's almost done. And what I do is I just leave a long tail. Cut my finger. And I'm going to just stuff it. These are poly filling. So we're going to stuff some of this inside the ladybug shell. I'm going to put a few more. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Then I take my darning needle. And I am going to sew the bottom. So I am sewing the bottom to close it. As you notice, I left a really long tail because I am going to make little French nuts, French knots. The little black dots on the top of the the ladybug. So yeah, I'll make sure it's closed. And looks like it is okay. So let's start one on the top. And this is what it looks like at the bottom. So it's all closed up. Just like this one. And we make these little French knots. Make sure they're going in. There's one. And I can make another pair. Looks pretty good.
it's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to bring it right there. So I just have the map all the way around. And then we're going to make the head. So let's make the head. And taking my black, and getting my crochet hook, and let me turn on this fan. I get a little hot, and then I get a little... Um, cold but this is what I'm making all right and I just make the shell part and now I'm going to make the head so and I start making the head it's only four rows Row. And 
and oops, the head of the scissors. And here, I need a little tail. And we're going to stuff it just a little bit and attach the head to the body. So I put a little bit of polyfilling and where it is my tiny needle. Must have fell. Right. Here it is. I'm kind of like in an awkward position while I'm talking to all of you and this is a long video, I'm very sorry, but um, I wanted to make a complete ladybug for you all, so it's almost done. And so I use black thread through my starting needle. So, let's see where we're going to put it. Uh, I think I'll put it right here. And I'm going to start sewing it. So you got to be very careful how you sew it. Alright, your stitching is important. And you want to, you know, you want your stitches to look nice. And... So well, I'm sewing the head part all the way around. And I do want the stitches to look nice. So I have to take my time doing this and you know just concentrating on sewing and crocheting really calms me down I don't think about anything else except concentrating on making this bug and I think it's, this is going to be another cute one so, um, and the head is almost fully sewn. I'll make sure. Finishing touches, sewing the back side of the head to the body. Actually, by the bottom of the bug's little ladybug hat. Uh, ladybug neck, I mean. Ladybugs don't have hats. And 
Kita coba. Oke. Yeah, this completes it. See the ladybug? All I gotta do is put the two eyes and I'm done. So it didn't take me very long to make. Let me go ahead and put the two eyes. And I think after this, I'm just going to rest and get some sleep. So we're going to um, put the eyes in it now. And actually, I just. Oops. This completes the ladybug. I'm in a very awkward, awkward position. Mm. And this is another ladybug. All done. So it's just like these. So the eyes. It's just like this one. I just gotta put the key ring. And I'm done. Well, I hope you guys enjoy my little project here. Yeah, and I'm gonna put my basket back here. And so I am going to go so I can get some more rest. And thank you all for staying with me if you were sticking around to watch me make this little cute ladybug chain. And I will talk to you all soon. And uh, let me show it to you. This is what it looks like. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bless evening. Bless morning. I'm going to talk to you soon. Bye.